Hello, I've basically finished my engine uh, for my library for allowing characters to move in a uh, tactical game environment. So this was an important library because this took up most of my time when I was trying to program tactical games. Uh, and of course, when you spend so much time just doing the movement, you can't do any time spent. You can't spend any time on anything else. I had to implement my own A star search algorithm because the ones that I could find for download didn't do the kind of complex stuff I wanted them to do. Uh, so this A star search is not very efficient, um, largely because it, uh, it the A star search itself is efficient, but the way it figures out whether a tile it can be traversed is by using raycast, and the raycast uh, takes up, you know, a noticeable amount of time. Uh, however, it doesn't have to be efficient because I'm not traversing huge distances, so uh, that should be fine. Um, the way this works is that it allows you to do as much of this crazy um, mouse-directed moving around as you'd like, as long as the best route from where you currently are back to your uh, back to your uh, unit is less than the unit's walk maximum. So I can make this crazy pattern as long as it doesn't end up taking him outside of his path. And this is a standard Fire Emblem way of doing things, and it's a good way to do it if you've got a mouse, because it lets you uh, uh, choose whether you're going to come in like this or come in like this, and in my game that's going to matter. Um, so this is a flyer, and flyers can move over terrain, but can't stop on them. Whereas the guy I showed you before is just a walker, so he can walk, but he can't he can't get through he can't get over terrain. He can, however, pass through but not stop on his allies. If this guy was an enemy, which I can actually make him into an enemy by selecting him and changing his tag to enemy. Now that he's an enemy, he's a barrier that I can't go through. Uh, and that was the kind of behavior I wanted out of my A star search algorithm, and none of the ones that I could find had that implemented um, in any kind of straightforward way. So I built my own, and it was pretty easy. A star is, is always pretty easy. Uh, he's an enemy now, so I can't control him. All right, well, this isn't ready for any kind of release, um, but once I finish building some prototypes with it, I may release it if there's any interest. Um, and then it'll include a couple of other library details such as damage computation and uh, uh, turn chains and uh, queuing up FX uh, and a whole bunch of other small things that take a lot of time if you're trying to build a prototype. That's all.